Hey there, game developers. Today, I want to share with you something really exciting that you probably don't know about. In fact, I think most people don't know about this. It's something that's somewhat secret, and I just found out about it because Keith sent me an email asking, hey, have you seen Muse Behavior? And I had no idea what that was. At first, I thought maybe it was some generative AI thing because the Muse name was in there, but when I looked into it, it's actually something that I think is going to apply to all game developers, or at least all Unity developers. It's a new behavior tree system that they've been working on, and it seems like a pretty solid way to build NPC AI. They've got a built-in designer that looks just easy to use, and building your own custom actions looks like a lot of fun. So I don't want to give a full tutorial. They've got a full video on it, and I'll link down in the asset store where you can grab the sample project and watch that tutorial. But I do want to call out a couple of the things that I thought were really, really cool. First, check out how you add a switch node. Just drop in a state enum or whatever enum, and it automatically creates them. I thought that was pretty freaking awesome. Custom node generation is super cool. You just type in what you want the node to do, and then it gives you all of the words as possible options for fields that you can link into your Blackboard items, and then you can write the code that gets automatically generated or customize the code that gets automatically generated to make your nodes do whatever you want and then have them be nice and easily readable. I thought that was probably the coolest part. In the last part of the tutorial, they showed off why I think it has the Muse name in it, which is that it's got some AI generative options. You don't need to use them, but they are available if you have their Muse subscription. And this allows you to generate nodes just by typing in what it is that you want to have there. I think this is pretty interesting and probably gonna be the way that things go in the future where designers can type stuff out, nodes get generated, and then maybe design or coders come back in and take a look and fix things up. But I think that that workflow and making things fast is probably gonna be beneficial in the future. I, I don't know whether or not it's a worth grabbing a Muse subscription yet or not, but you can grab the free trial and try it out. But you can use the behavior tree thing totally without that. So just grab it, check it out. If you're gonna do that though, make sure that you go to the asset store and grab the sample project. They have one that shows the behavior tree in that tutorial and it's got a link to the full tutorial. I highly recommend you go watch that. This is nice and quick. Just wanted to make sure that you know this exists. The tutorial goes in depth on how everything works. I think it's really cool. I'm kind of excited about it and wanna try it out. If you've tried it out, please uh, let me know how it works for you and if you've got any thoughts or feedback on it. And if you like this kind of video, make sure that you hit the uh, thumbs up button and I'll see you in the next one, bye.